out here in Vail. I found, I found something on the Tangy Trail. I do believe we are on the cusp. I'm out here looking for more clues. I'm gonna keep searching. I found it! I found Teddy you got! Teddy? Alright! Hey. Teddy! I found you! Teddy! Dude, I've been here forever. At least a week. You got a clip? Yeah, of course. Nice. He's back! Gotta get out of here. Uh. Oh. Uh. Just sitting waiting, dude. Let's go. Snowboarding. I think both of our bodies are broken right now. Yeah. I can't really do anything. Oh. It's been lost in the wilderness. I'm back though. We sent you out so your fucking facial hair would grow back so you don't look so fucking childlike. I've, um, I was getting a lot of like weird ads on the videos. So I needed you to go away so the algorithm would reanalyze your face. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. It's amazing. All right. It's a different day. Sold a pair of shoes. I've sold a pair of shoes that a lot of hype beasts are going to say I'm stupid for. But these do not feel anything like Boost. It's a beautiful shoe. The upper is gorgeous. That sole, sole is gorgeous. But it does not feel like Boost, even a little bit. And I am not one that needs to flex. So. I'm gonna sell them. Well, they've already been sold. They're actually getting sent out today. I uh, sold them for 3,200 bucks, and they're headed to their new owner. So I may be warm like three or four times. And then some people, I even got a lot of hate emails when I posted these for sale. Some people were saying that I had ruined them and destroyed them already, and that the heel cups were just completely destroyed, which as you can see, there's a little dust on there. There's really no scratches left. And same for this side, really not too much so for those people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about i'm going to show you real quick how to get most of this shit off of your heel cups most of you know this for those people out there that don't know um yeah we'll we'll show you and no, i don't have the 4d future craft yet because for one the 4d hasn't been made in the 13 and for two I'm not paying thousands of dollars for a shoe that's going to have a global release. So we'll get there. Just got to wait for time to catch up. Still not sure if it'll be more comfortable than Boost, but we'll find out. I don't really clean shoes that often. I had to clean my BYWs this morning though because of the fucking snow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just like no. fucked. Ooh, I just took the ultra. I was just gonna say, yeah. I think you gotta be careful. You do. It can also take off. Yeah, yeah. The it can. Ink. I don't really care about that though. So yeah, if you want to remove the, uh, yeah. should I click bake the title? I just ruined a grail. Yeah. Well, I just ruined a grail. But you can, uh, the acetone will also take off the lettering. But I don't, you guys know that I don't care. <laughs> it hurt me inside though. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, you're gonna kill people with this. Are you kidding me? You're nuts. <laughs> That's gotta be the title. I'll just, just say. Just wipe the ultra right off. But yeah, that pretty much, like, I mean, there's still, like, the physical scratching somewhat, but the dirt that gets in those scratches or whatever. <laughs> just do it again. No. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Chuck the. <laughs> Here, just give it to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I dead up just did it like I gotta do it all the way because now it looks like yeah. shit. At least on the ultra, leave the boost. It's my custom dog. Custom sample. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't pay attention, man. I'm the fucking. I'm just out here. This is see now. This is stressful. Like I gotta like get in here and be all fucking precise and shit. I don't like that. I'm th I took off the top of the B! That's how you do it, but that's you're also gonna take the shit off. I can't, out of all the ones you used to, you use your growl and then you take off the heel. <laughs> yeah, whatever. This one still has a little... Should I just take off the boost too? Oh my god, I don't know about that. That looks fucking silly. Oh. Looks like he's got his fucking nose pierced. Blue Scott loses his mind is what should be the name of this one. <laughs> now it's not coming off. Oh my gosh, my man's bugging. <laughs> Better. So that's how you do that. And then another thing that people always fucking, the other thing about cleaning shoes is people always ask me how I clean the boost. Yeah. Number one, I don't really clean the boost that off. But if I have to, I use one of many products, and I don't think it matters which one. <laughs> I'm friends with people at Crap Protect. I'm friends with people at Rejuvenator. I'm friends with all kinds of cleaners, chemists. Uh, Jason Mark, I do use sometimes because I have some. We're not friends with him. I don't actually know Jason Mark. Jason, holler at me. I like the smell of your product. Um, this is what I started using just because I like the color and smell, but I've used every single product. I'm not paid by any of them. Friends with all of them. Um, and I just think using whatever, whichever one you want to use is probably fine. So, you know, this is how I feel. So, yeah. Damn. Crazy. Today's been um today's been a day. I have a lot of catching up. Oh my god. A lot of catching up to do. Last week was basically a mostly play week. Not a lot of work got done. So play week is over. It is time to get back to work. I have plenty to do. Uh, meetings with Sager this week, back in the tattoo shop some this week. Uh, just kind of all over the place. I got a lot of stuff going on. I've gotten some commissions this week. I've gotten some emails this week from different brands. There's the event that's happening in LA, the 747 event. There's possibly an LA pop-up coming and I may or may not be at the event. Well, I'll probably be at the event. There's just, I, I don't know the level of involvement here. So I guess just stay tuned. I have a lot of moving parts, things that are happening. Um, but right now, today, currently, um, I was gonna review these shoes for you because we have not looked at these yet. I've been asked about them a lot since I showed them off on Friday. Uh, since Friday, I've been basically wearing nothing but the BYWs because I'm in love with them. But this shoe is the other shoe that came in the other day that has me really excited. I really, really like it. Uh, the name of the shoe is, I guess, the Psycho. Shout out to whoever hit me up today to let me know that. Y3 Psycho, I guess is how you say that. Which translate in Japanese to Supreme, for you hype beasts out there, or highest, I prefer highest. Anyway, uh, the shoe itself, so, so Y3, it's a Y3 shoe, so it does come with some dust bags, and it does come with an extra pair of laces that I've already lost somewhere. There they are, uh, Y3 laces. Um, I think all Y3s come this way, but uh, at least every pair that I've ever gotten. Um, which is a good thing, it's a nice touch, especially since Y3 shoes are generally expensive. It is a high fashion brand. So, yeah, it, this shoe was $420 retail. I got a slight discount on it, which was very helpful, but still, even with a discount, a 300 and some odd dollar shoe is still pretty high. So, without further ado, man, the shoe attracts dog hair like no other serious. The shoe itself, well, I guess you can see both, right? You need two shoes. Right, Teddy, we ain't got one foot, I got two feet. This is what the shoe looks like. All around, nice little tour. Tour a de la shoe. Uh, obviously an all black shoe uh, with white accents. You have a white three, white three stripe that is actually a part of the knitting of the tongue. It's just raised up a little bit. So it's like the yeah, knitting is just built up. I'm not really familiar with knitting techniques enough to tell you how that's done, but it's cool. The three stripes are raised. Or the upper especially reminds me of a Pharrell. This bottom piece, because it's basically two pieces of fabric, so you have prime knit on the top, and this top outer, I'll just call it this outer prime knit, is super soft, very blanket-like. 
awesome PK, like, you know, ultra boost PK, maybe even nicer, just super stretchy, amazing, beautiful PK. Inside piece, which I guess they were technically saying like had a little mesh in it, um, but this feels more like a Pharrell Pharrell knit. You know, it's like a regular PK. I don't think it's mesh. Um, there might be like a slight liner in the tongue. It does not feel. Yeah, I think it's just mesh behind the tongue. I don't think there's any mesh in it. It's like a black Pharrell, sort of, um, that's been wrapped like a different knit that cuts across it. It's super cool, and then it exposes this, I don't know if you can see. Super minimalist design. There's the three stripes that are made by a lacing skeleton, as I would call it. When you pull your laces tighter, it pulls these tight, and just kind of creates a better aesthetic. And also, because it is a knit shoe, it's not crazy supportive, so being able to tie your shoe tighter well, obviously being able to tie your shoe tighter is good, but I'm saying like better, a little bit added support. Um, because it's not a supportive shoe, I don't really believe this is a functional runner. I know that it's a runner shape. Reminds me more of like an NMD, but a little bit more sturdy. Not anything too crazy. Uh, this shoe came out the same time as the Kusari, and I think that the Kusari is more of the functional version. Um, it's actually a little bit cheaper than this shoe, but the materials are different, and it's mesh mostly, I believe. So I do not believe that this is functional. So just like the BYW, for all the people still arguing with me, trying to tell me that it's a basketball shoe when it is not a basketball shoe. There is a BYW basketball shoe coming, but this one is not it, it's a lifestyle. When the pro comes, then we can talk. And yes, the one that you've seen on the court is most likely the pro. And no, basketball players generally do not get the same shoe as you anyway. But yeah, beautiful shoe. I mean, the knitting is just crazy. I mean, this right here is where I really see the Pharrell. This is very, very Pharrell-like. And I guess some NMD, but this just reminds me of the human races. Again, this outer knit is just super, super nice. It's a really minimal design. It's very smart. It's really, it's a cool, cool looking shoe. It comes with black and white laces. The spares are also black and white. There is Y3 branding on the underlay. That is on the, that is on the bottom piece of the fabric. So it's like a little advertisement window right there. That was the one thing about the shoe that kind of turned me off a little bit at first. I didn't really love this placement of advertising, but it doesn't really bother me enough to not cop. Um, there's a lot of Y3 shit coming this year, like a ton of it. And a lot of it does have some kind of, I don't wanna say weird branding, but just like different. It's a little more out there than I prefer. I like minimalism, but the design of the shoe is still minimal. That's just like a nitpick, so. Outer toe box has a suede guard. On the inside, just a change in fabric pattern. There's a leather insole with the shoe, and then it even has like these little NMD type boost windows. 12 and a half is the biggest that most, I, well, any Y3 I've ever seen, 12 and a half is the biggest. So I always have to get a 12 and a half this shoe has been perfect at 12 and a half. I have literally no issues with it. Hey! Um, so yeah, half size down is probably good. Some people may even go a full size down. I guess it just depends on, on your foot. Um, I would say just kind of go with your normal Y3 size, I guess. Midsole on this, the midsole on this reminds me a lot of the Y3 Pure Boost. Obviously it has boost, Y3 sole. All shoe kind of reminds me of like a Frankenstein of a few shoes like Pure Boost, Human Race, a little bit of an Ultra Boost vibe with the toe box on the front. It's just like, yeah, it's a cool shoe. It's a cool little hybrid of a few things, and it's super comfortable. People have been asking me if it's come more comfortable than the BYW. No, nothing, nothing yet so far. I mean, literally, I don't think it's as supportive as some of the other Boost shoes maybe we have, but the way the Boost just dances on your feet in the BYW is different. Um, everything else just feels flatter if that makes sense. Like most free boost shoe is just gonna feel flat compared to a BYW. But this still super, super comfortable. Really comfortable, completely different style than any of the other shoes. Uh, these are available, there's two colorways. There's a black colorway that is this. There is a white colorway that is basically just flip flop from this one. $420 is retail. One thing about Y3, and it's hit or miss, but this was like my reasoning too. Um, I don't buy everything that comes from Y3 that I want because a lot of times stuff does end up going on sale and you can get it for a pretty hefty discount count, but it's always a gamble. You never really know what's going to sell out, what's going to be super hype, what's not going to be super hype. For me, I had to grab at least one pair of these. If the other pairs end up going on sale eventually, I'm sure I'll cop more, but um, yeah, we'll see. One of the many new models from Y3 this year, they are killing it. The 4Ds, they have plenty of awesome shit coming. They have a boost you wear that's coming. I mean, it's just like an exciting year. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everything that's coming and just, um, you yeah. know, trying some stuff out but this is the shoe i am super glad to get it it's definitely like in my top 
pick up so far this year. Like I really, really like the shoe. Very comfortable. It just kind of goes with, I mean, it's black and white shoe. It goes with anything. But yeah, this year is like getting crazy already with all the new stuff that's being announced. I may end up having to make some room here again pretty soon because it's just piling up and piling up and piling up still. And if the BYW comes and all this new shit is just like more comfortable to me, then I mean, there might have to be some shifting that goes on. Like this shit could get out of hand quick. So we'll see. Um, as far as my week goes, tattoo emails have all been answered. If you've been contacting me about getting tattooed, you've been emailed. Um, if you want to get tattooed, email me. I have some time in the next coming up months. And what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, all the missing earn shirts have shipped as of today, I do believe. So they should be on their way to you. Uh, we are dropping more of the swoosh pack and colors and sweatshirts. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be at the end of the week this week. And yeah, I'll see you guys all week. Uh, Twitch streams, I'm around. Ernie, you'll be back on his Instagram. All is right with the world. I'm out of here. Omar's sleeping in my suitcase. You know what I'm saying. It's just the normal, normal stuff. Omar. Why are you sleeping in my suitcase? Why are you always sleeping in my suitcase? You gonna say bye everybody? Peace! But our fear of the dark rebels. The idea of alien beings troubles us. We conjure up objections. too buddy sorry i got no uh info on where he is but uh if you find him let us know because we all miss him and keep up the vlogs steady they're awesome yo i seen Ern in philadelphia walking on the streets of south philly looking crazy this morning they put out a call to the hotline somebody needs to get here quick contact your boy yo Ern, keep your head up dog even though Teddy be talking that shit, you still the man, bro. You the reason we watch the vlogs. Take it back. We really missing you. Hey. Yeah, I just called this to see if like this would be sick, but this is uh this is like Teddy, huge fan, you know. Who's got for life? See you, man. Have a good day. I'm looking for dirty, dirty urn. Legend has it that his shadow once killed a small dog when he digested. 8,000 milligrams of gummy pot. If you have any... I don't know where this man is, but you better find him. He could he could be causing harm to, to people. He's a crazy-ass bro. 
dirtier and is probably with the booze god and some weed or some chronic somewhere, probably trying to let his beard grow out. Dirty urn, here, dirty man. Last that I saw, uh, they were at this guy, his name is Boo Scott, he's got some great shoes. Um, but he, last I saw, Dirty Iron rolled a terrible blunt. And, uh, the guy with the red beard, I'm pretty sure he threw him off the balcony of his building. So you might want to check the parking lot. Uh, but that's just a hunch. So we're live, we're recording. It's like a, it's a hotline, cause like, this guy's missing. I think, I think he o- OD'd on edibles. Not sure though. He's from Colorado. It's like a, it's a, it's a shoe vlogger from Colorado. I got it! I think we last saw Ern after he took the 500 milligrams. I think I last saw him in a news report on the, on the coast of Puerto Rico. I don't know what he's doing out there. Yo, Earn, Dirty Earn, where are you at, my man? G ain't the same without you taking those 500 milligrams of THC. Where the fuck are you at, Dirty Earn? We are worried sick. Fuck. What am I going to do? I need Ernie back, please. Where's the dirt? Suck my dick. Yeah, I saw Dirty Earn. He was back over there. Uh, he was buying them, them donuts. He was, he was buying them wheat, them wheat donuts. Earn, we need to make sure you're alive, man. I just took a grand dab, passed out, and woke up. And I know how it feels, man. If you're in trouble, just let us know, man. I've done seen him. He's out there with the Yeti. Yonder, the snowboarders. Smoking a blunt. Is he naked? Yo, yeah, I just, uh, I just saw, I just saw Dirty Earn. Um, he was, um, um, and uh, he was actually also looking for some, uh, some Jordans. Uh, he didn't want to tell you to know about it. Uh, he was looking for some Jordans. He asked me what size they were. He was trying to get my Jordans off of me. Yo, yo vi el Dirty Earn. I andaba caminando por la calle y andaba bien loco. Mucha marihuana fuma, fuma mucha marihuana el vato. Y, y se perdió, y no, no sé, no sé, no sé dónde está, pero a lo mejor tiene hambre. Pobrecito Ernesto Falconer, sí, en la calle. Hey, man, I heard Ern was chasing a tangy god. I, I don't know, man, he's lost. I got a message. I'm really, I'm concerned, Teddy. Please find him. The world is is not going to be right without Dirty Earn. Uh, I'm just reaching out. Please find this man. Hey, man. Um, I think I spotted Earn. Somebody told me they saw him outside L.A. He was going to uh, Wiz Khalifa's blunt rolling school to try to improve his skills. He's sick of taking shit from you. Just figured I'd uh, cue you into what's up. Yo, it's your boy Game Guy Jita, swagged up and off the meter. Balling since a fetus, you feel me? I think your boy Dirty Yearn, uh, been going to news stations when reporters is outside and saying, fuck a right in the pussy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Yearn, put down the half gram blunt and come speak with Teddy. He's looking for you. I, I know. I know, Tangy. I know it's not Tangy. I know. I know. I'm pretty sure I saw some homeless man that looked like him walking down my street asking for Tangy. So I think that might help you out, but you look a little lost. Bye. Dude, where the fuck is Ern at? What? Hey, bro. Last time I heard, he was moving. He was going up to Chicago to go see Tony the Tiger. After he got fired from Kellogg, they started trapping. I heard, heard they started moving some bricks. Hey, dirty Ern. They call me Pinhead Larry. I'm looking for you, boy. You better hope they don't they don't let uh, they don't let me find you. Again, this is Pinhead Larry, and I am looking for you, Dirty Earn. I long for you like a like a heap of butter, butter melting on a stack of wheat cakes. Uh, I don't know why, but he he was when I found him, he was he was wrestling with a bum. 
I guess that's what he likes to do, you know, wrestle bums and shit. Teddy, I fucking love you. Yo, this is fucking crazy. I'm really stoned in my apartment right now, and I just watched the vlog, and, you know, I figured I'd get one of you guys on the phone or something, but, um, yeah, um, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. I have not seen Ern at all down... Listen, Ern's been cooking me some sour cream pancakes, um... This is fucking dope. Uh, yes, I just want to report, I'm pretty sure I just saw Dirty Urn trying to, uh, gather a group of people for a free Kodak Black rally. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna steal all your shoes, ho. Fuck ass, bitch ass, ho. They're all gonna be gone tomorrow. Just know that. I seen Dirty Urn. I seen him over at the hot spot in, uh, in uh, Asheville, downtown Asheville, North Carolina. I seen him, he was hanging out with this one chick, she had bruises all over her arms and legs, and this other guy, he had 40s for hands, um, you know, hit me up, man, it's, uh, 420-6969.